Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And today we're talking about the full moon in Virgo, which uh, happens February 27th of 2021. And uh, the full moon in Virgo talks about uh, honoring the ways that you are serving the world and the places you are creating order from chaos in your life. All right, and that's uh, during this full moon in Virgo coming up uh, this week, February 27th. Okay, so the quest six questions it asks, this uh, spread is out of the Fiddy Tarot uh, planner that I've used, and uh, you know, I thank Biddy for putting the planner together and putting these spreads out there. So the first question it asks is, what can I offer to my family and friends to be of the highest service? Second question is, what areas of my life might benefit from creating order? How might I benefit from working hard in the next six months is the third question. How can you limit clutter in your physical space is your fourth question. What can you do to better support your mental clarity is your fifth question. And how can you best support the healthy emotional expression in your life is the final question. All right, so let's get started. So full moon in Vir Virgo. Honoring the ways that you are servicing the world and the places you are creating order from chaos. How can you offer to your family and friends, or what can you offer to your family and friends to be of highest service? And that's represented by the Great Bear. So major arcana card. What areas of your life might benefit from creating order during this chaotic time. Being like the king of bows and that adder. How might you benefit from working hard in the next six months? How might you benefit from working hard in the next six months? How might you benefit during this full moon in Virgo? Eight of stones, skill. I'll put some stones on here so the wind don't blow them away. How can you limit clutter in your physical life? How can you limit clutter in your physical space, more or less? How can you limit clutter in your physical space? Ace of Vessels and the Waters of Life. What can I do to better support, what can you do to better support your mental clarity? What can you do to support your mental clarity? Six of Stones, Exploitation. And how can you best support healthy emotional expression? How can you best support healthy emotional expression? How can you support healthy emotional expression during this full moon in Virgo? It's five of bows, empowerment. We'll put the cards away. So there you have it. There's the uh, spread for the full moon in Virgo, six cards. And this is looking at the, uh, the ways that you are um, honoring the ways you are servicing the world and the places you are creating order from chaos during this full moon. And the first card that was drawn was that great bear. Major Arcana card. And I'll put it up here so you can see it better. And this is what you can offer to your family and friends to be of the highest service, okay? Now, the Great Bear to me, um, when, when I look at this, let's see if I can get it focused again. All right, the Great Bear is guarding the, the cave entrance. Unlike uh, the Guardian, all right, this one is greeting you with... Um, the security of knowing that the universe has your back, okay? Uh, the Great Bear knows everything. Um, he's very connected to the universe. And it kind of follows that Big Dipper, which is telling me that, you know, there, there might be some judgment as well out there. So, you know, you can offer your family and friends to be of the highest service in being open-minded being open to the universe and letting that spirit come through. Okay, and honoring that way of how you can service others. Okay, by listening to what they have to say. 
by being open to their ideas, opening to um, new expressions of thought, okay? And you can create order from chaos during this full moon in Virgo by opening yourself up, by opening your spirit up, opening your soul up to what the universe has to offer you. So what areas of your life might benefit from creating order is represented by that king of bows in the adder. Now this is a court card. All right. Bows is all about creative energy. It's all about fire. It's all about action. All right. And the king is all about action. He's you know, he rules the he rules the kingdom of action. Okay? And he comes at this time to tell you that the areas of your life that might benefit from creating order is taking that king kingly authoritative disposition with what's going on in your world right now. All right? As you open yourself up to the universe, understand that the king's there to help guide you, to help give you that advice as you're moving forward and serving the world. All right? To give you that action energy, to give you that fire energy to move into to an action plan, more or less, okay? To create some sense of order out of the chaos that's out there during this full moon in Virgo. How might you benefit from working hard in the next six months? Is represented by that eight of stones and skill. So how might you benefit from working hard in the next six months? That's represented by that eight of stones and skill. All right, and uh, as you are honoring the ways that you're serving the world and the places that you're creating order, you know, focus on the skill set that you have. Put your nose to the grindstone and, um, you know, work harder on the skill set that you have. All right. You might benefit from this because, you know, when you increase your skill set, whether that's a, re a relationship, whether that's a social setting, whether that's a work situation, when you learn something new, okay, you gain a benefit out of that. And at the same time, when you gain that benefit, you honor the world that you're serving in. Okay, when you go to work every day and you use that skill set and you understand how it's affecting you, um, you know, that opens you up to creating order in that chaos that you have. Okay, and you know, if you tie that in with that king of bows, taking that, that kingly uh, kingship attitude, all right, with that fire energy, and you, you know, you open yourself up to the great bear, that's where you might benefit from working hard in the next six months. No, just knowing that, um, that hard work is paying off, the universe has your back, you know, and you're moving in the right direction, that creative energy that you have. Stones, stones is all about security and materialism too, so, you know, by working hard, you're gonna gain your security, you're gonna gain uh, stability, and you're gonna have some materialism. So how can you limit clutter in your physical space? Is represented by that ace of vessels and that waters of life, okay? Now, aces are new beginnings and, and the waters of life are, are vessels, all right? Um, so you can limit the clutter in your physical space by not, uh, by looking at the emotional aspect, okay? By taking on a new you know, emotional step forward and saying, you know what? I am not gonna allow chaos to come into my life, all right? And, you know, disrupt the order that I have, all right? And you can limit that clutter in your physical space by acknowledging, okay, that you have that clutter, all right? And when you acknowledge that you have the clutter that's out there, okay, whether it's in your home, whether it's in your work, whether it's in your emotions, okay, and you can clear that out, you can clear some sort of semblance out of saying, you know, I understand where I'm at, I understand where I'm going. You know, you start to honor the way you're serving the world. Okay, and you start to put some of that that fire energy, that creative energy, into gaining that stability out of the stones card by working hard. Okay, but you become more confident in yourself. You become more self-assured of how things are going in your life. And when you don't have the clutter, you don't have the worry. When you don't have the worry, you become more happy. And when you become more happy, things go easier for you. So that's how you can limit the clutter in your physical space, by taking on that aspect of the ace, the ace of vessels, the waters of life. Now, what can you do to better support your mental clarity? Is represented by the six of stones and exploitation. 
again, another Stones card. And I've talked about this one a couple weeks ago for like every week. And you can better support your mental clarity by, not, by using your resources wisely. All right, when you use your resources wisely, you don't have the prairie behind you burning down. You have full beehives, okay? You don't have empty beehives. You have a good rake to help help break it, okay? But when you have that, that better support system and you're using those resources correctly in your mind for mental clarity, that's what's gonna help you with that ace of vessels, that water, those waters of life. You limit that clutter, okay? And when you when you limit the clutter, like I said, you get that better support from mental clarity, all right? Use the resources that are out there wisely, okay? Whether that's work resources, uh, relationship resources, friendship resources, you know, use the support network that you have to help you move forward during this full moon in Virgo. And then finally, how can you best support healthy emotional expression? Five of bows empowerment. So, you know, you've got two bows cards here as well. All right. And bows is all about fire energy. It's all about action. It's all about, uh, um, you know, being empowered, let's say. All right. And the fives, you know, fives halfway through, through, that, through the spectrum of one through 10. You can best support your healthy emotional expression okay by being empowered if you feel the need to speak your truth speak it because when you do you honor the ways that are serving you in this world okay when you are able to speak your truth you're also you know creating order from the chaos that may be out there all right by not letting that burden okay of not speaking your truth hold you back on your mental clarity all right P putting clutter up in your head all right in that physical space. So take the time to, you know, to best support yourself during this full moon in Virgo, to be empowered, to move forward, to think what you have to, th you know, to say what you have to say, to do what you have to do. Okay, to be in tune with that great bear. To know that the universe has your back as you're moving forward. So that's, you know, that's the best way you can support your healthy emotional expression during this full moon in Virgo. And that's honoring the way that you serve the world and places that you're creating order from chaos. Be empowered. So as we go back over the cards, I'll move all the stones out. What can you offer your family and friends to be a fire service? Open yourself up. Open yourself up to the universe. Open yourself up to new thinking. You know, be like that great bear, okay? Being able to walk through that cave knowing that you're open. What areas of your life might benefit from creating order? Take on that kingly aspect of the bows, that adder, all right? Understand that he's the king, you know, you're the king of energy. You're the king of action. You're the king of creativity, all right? Open up that creativity because that's what the great bear is telling you to do. You might benefit from this by putting your nose to the grindstone, working on your skill set, okay? Maybe working longer hours at night, okay? And putting your mark on, on a situation, okay? Create those stones to help move you forward. So, you know, over the next six months to, you know, to, you know, enjoy your skill set. You can limit your clutter in your physical space by taking on that ace of vessels, the waters of life. Let go of the, all the emotional burdens that you're carrying within your head okay let go of all the uh the, that water energy just let it cleanse you as you're moving through and, and getting rid of the clutter that's in your physical space whether that's home work you know or on your person and you can better support your mental clarity okay with that six of stones exploitation use your resources that you do have out there those resources are going to help propel you to become empowered which is your best support system for having a healthy emotional expression. Emotional expression. So there you have it, the full moon in Virgo. A way to, uh, an aspect of to honoring the ways you are serving the world and the places you are creating order from chaos at this Virgo full moon. So this is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you at the new moon coming up in a couple weeks. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.